All right, the holidays are upon us. That means bringing wine, serving wine, gifting wine. Maya Goslin joins us with kind of a list of what we should really be looking for. What do we give? What do we serve? And what do we bring They're to the, the big party? questions every December that I am asked the most <laughs> often. So I, I um, today I, have, I always love the wines I bring, but I'm particularly pleased with today's lineup. So okay. for, for all those festive occasions, we've and we're got starting a little with bit of everything. Sparkling. We have a sparkling wine. This is from the Kush Winery. This is called Origins, and um, this is Armenian. Okay. Very interesting story, though. Um, the family has ties to Maine. Uh, Vahe Kushkarin, who's the father and the, the founder of this winery, um, his children, who are now grown, attended Lincoln Academy, which is oh, up in Newcastle. Yeah. And daughter Amy has joined the winemaking team. So there's a little bit of um, a Maine connection on this. So wow. that's really fascinating. This is made in the traditional method, like a champagne using grapes I won't even begin to try to pronounce um, from Armenia, indigenous to the country. And uh, their, their viticulture goes back 6,000 years, actually. The oldest known winemaking facility on record was discovered there um, a few years ago that goes back to the fourth century BC. So. Okay, so would you give or serve? Ooh, I give for sure. This is about $19, mm. it's a great gift. It's delicious. Dry and a little creamy. Mm -hmm. Hard to miss, think that's not something more expensive. Okay, next we have a Sauvignon Blanc. Yes, um, I'm a big fan of Sauvignon Blancs from France in general. Um, this is from the Loire Valley. It doesn't have a uh, classification of a Sancerre or Pouilly Fumé. However, it is still very high quality. This is my party wine pick. So this is an under $15 wine for sure. Easy drinking, fresh. It goes with um, goat cheese for sure. Lots of different appetizers come to mind. And the same with the sparkling wine, I would say definitely with um, party fare, you know, sort of richer. Okay. Um, saltier foods. Mm. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that overwhelming lot of sort of citrus punch that a lot of the New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs have, which is fine for what they are. Right. This is more easy drinking, I think. You can have plenty of that at a party and everybody will love you. Okay, and you've got one more white here. Yes, we have the Lioko Chardonnay from Sonoma County. Um, this is actually uh, vinified in stainless steel, so it doesn't have that big heavy oak punch on it. This drinks to me more like Chablis. So oh. this goes with seafoods. Oh. Also, I would certainly think smoked salmon, shrimp cocktail, again, at the parties. But this is about a $22 wine, so probably more in that. Either having this with a nice meal or as a gift. Mm. That's okay. Great. All right, so seafood for that one. Mm -hmm. Now we move on to the reds here. Yes, we're going to hop back over to France, Chateau Neuf de Pop, which is in the Southern Rhone. Chateau Neuf de Pop is in Appalachian. Love it. This is mostly Grenache and then a blend of, I believe, 12 other grapes in that remaining 15% cuvee. Um, this has more notes of herbs and black fruit on it. Definitely a food wine. Um, and these are a little bit more expensive than the whites. Yes. Um, and this is certainly a really fancy meal or a really nice gift for somebody. <laughs> um, this is around in the $40 price point, And I would think braised meats, um, roasted meats, mm, anything mm -hmm. with herbs on it. Yep. This is just absolutely luscious. You can see that tasting. And we're mm. excited about this final one oh, because so this, this, originally $80 you were telling me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, to commemorate their 150th lot release, 90 plus sellers um, decided to do something particularly remarkable and they were able to procure this wine, which comes from the Spring Mountain District in the um, Napa Valley. This is a Cabernet. This is, um, I would say this is along the lines of like a cult cab. You know, this is beautiful. This is a gift if you could possibly stand to part with it. Oh, <laughs> if you can part with it. Being um, the key. And if you're having it with, with food, I would definitely say steak, filet mignon. Um, <laughs> certainly, definitely go all out for this. Um, but so although this is a $75 or $80 original wine for the price on that, the retail, and this is extremely limited in the state of Maine, is about $40. $40, so get mm -hmm. it while you can. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. it, just, it makes me feel so luxurious drinking that. <laughs> okay, we have time for this last Yes, gifting. we didn't have time to pour it, but I did want to um, definitely feature a uh, red for the parties and the sort of the under $12 gift if you're doing Yankee swaps, or this is fantastic. The Lee Fitch Merlot, um, sort of a classic Merlot. Merlot is really the comeback kid right now. Um, seeing a lot, it fell out of favor for a few years, but it's really become popular again. We'll put this up front so we can see it yeah, here. Yeah, that has notes of plum and all kinds of different red fruits in there. Soft, easy drinking, and usually you can get that between $10 to $12, so you're certainly and it's actually staying a on budget. Good and wine it's a really too. good quality.
Kelly wine. I, I absolutely love that wine. Just didn't have time to pour it out, but yeah, trust me on that. Those are the gifts that fly out of there on the Yankee Swap. Exactly. Huh? <laughs> right. You're always popular if you bring wine for a Yankee Swap, believe me. <laughs> Maya Goslin, great tips for what to do in the holidays. You can find out more information at sipwinemain.com or head to the 207 section of our website. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. We'll be right back.